Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to Journeys with Jay. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how I achieved this nail design. If you want to see how I did this, then please continue to watch. This portion of today's video is sponsored by Ultra Human Air and Ultra Human reached out to me to try out their Ultra Human Air ring and I just wanted to talk a little bit about this today. The Ultra Human ring is great for monitoring your sleep, movement, and temperature as well as some other additional add-ons that I will discuss a little bit later on in this portion but I personally have a really hard time sleeping and once I'm awake, I'm just up. And so I wanted to really start to track those things and see what types of changes I needed to make in my daily life so that I could have a healthier sleep. This ring here, as well as the app that is used for it, really breaks that down for me. Really deep dive into everything you guys need to know that I've learned so far with using my Ultra Human Ring for almost two months now. The first thing you're expected to receive is going to be the Air Ring Sizing Kit. So this right here is how your sizing kit will come. They'll send this off to you immediately so that you're able to figure out what size works best for you. They do not offer half sizes, so I would definitely go with one that has just a little bit more room because your fingers will tend to swell throughout the night, especially depending on your body temperature and everything. The first night, I believe I slept with a six and it was too tight. I slept with a seven and it was okay. And then I slept with the eight and I still had tons of room and mine on my ring finger it just works best for me and it's super comfortable and lightweight the actual ring is super duper comfortable it's very smooth along the edges and you really won't even notice that it's there when you receive your ultra human air ring this is the box that is going to come in and when you open it up this is what it'll look like with your ring inside and then under there, you'll get all of your instructions on how to get started. And then in here is going to be your little charger box, as well as the cable that you're going to use to go ahead and charge up the ring for about 30 minutes. So it does have a bit of a decent charge to it. And then you're going to proceed with setting it up on the app. While we're on the topic of charging, this is what the little charger dock is going to look like when you take it out of the box. Very small and convenient. It has a USB-C cord that plugs right into the side there. And then you just place the ring right on top of the stand and it charges. It's really nice. The ring also holds a very good charge. You don't need to wait for it to die all the way down to then charge the ring again. You can just charge it every few days. Me personally, I was wearing an Apple Watch every day and having to charge it every day. So with the ring, it's so nice that I can just put it on after charging it for a little while. You can allow it to go all the way up to 100% as well. But even at 100%, I think I charged my ring maybe four days ago 
and I'm currently at 56%. So then if you do another 30 minute increment, you'll probably be closer to about 80%. It charges really quick too. And then once it's fully charged, the charging dock does cut off. So I do love that as well. This is what my Ultra Human Ring app looks like. Some other rings that I've noticed, they come with a monthly subscription, which honestly, who wants to pay all of that money for a ring to then turn around and pay for an app? that's not okay so we're not doing that this app contains so much detailed information about your sleep and everything and here it tells you my movement tells you my stress rhythm your movement patterns during sleep indicate slight restlessness eight tosses and turns during sleep I was like, oh goodness, that literally sounds like me. Then they also show a caffeine window. For someone like me, I love coffee. I try not to go overboard with my coffee intake, but it literally gives you a caffeine window when to start drinking, add coffee-ish. I like to delay it for an hour and then it'll tell you when to start to cut down on the coffee. So it's like that down slope is it's telling you to stop and to avoid stimulants, but it also gives you options of things that you can drink. We love that. You also have active power plugs. So your power plugs you can add on for free, and then there are a few that you could pay for, but honestly, the main ones come included, which is really awesome. So like, you can have the screen time. You have a vitamin D power plug, circadian alignment power plug, caffeine window, pregnancy insights, cycle tracking and they also have another one for ovulation again there's so many different power plugs that you can add in just to customize your experience as you guys can see mine is a little bit knocked up there are some scrapes and scratches on it but that's okay honestly this ring gets a lot of wear and a lot of love i don't like to even leave the house without it <laughs> so if i notice it's not there i'm like oh my goodness but I absolutely love this ring. Thank you again to Ultra Human Air for sending me over this ring. If you guys are interested in a ring like this, feel free to use my coupon code here that they've provided me for you guys where you can save a nice amount of money off of the ring. And if you guys already have one, let me know what you think below. Thanks again to Ultra Human for sponsoring this portion of today's video. And I'll see you guys guys hopping into the actual nail design that we're going to be doing today I did just go ahead and do a little practice run on the pinky and now we can go ahead and hop into doing the design on the rest of the nails so what I'm using as my base color is going to be dirty dancer if you guys have been here for a while you know that I absolutely love these colors from the neutral line from D&D so we're just going to do about two coats on the nails and I'm skipping the base coat. It's not necessarily needed, but you can definitely add a base coat. I may be removing this design in a few days. So I'm just kind of skipping out on the base coat today. I love this color, it's so pretty. Now I'm just doing a once over. I have a brush here and some acetone and a dipping dish and I'm just going to clean up anywhere that the gel polish may have come in contact with. Even if I know I didn't touch my skin, I'm just going in to clean that up just to be safe. Making sure the gel polish is nice and that we have everything cleaned up. Here the nails in the lamp for 60 seconds.
I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for just 30 seconds. Okay, you guys, so to add a little bit of that red down the center of the nail, I just have this tool here with the little sponge tip and I dab it onto the red gel polish, which is going to be Goddess by Nail Reserve. I absolutely love this red, it's so pretty. I dipped that in there and then what I did is I just pressed it down the nail. This is still wet, so. I pressed it down the center of the nail just a little bit because we don't want to fully cover up the uh, Dirty Dancer gel polish that's under the bottom. I think I put a little bit too much on the middle finger so I'm going to clean some of that off. fade that in with a clean, a little clean spot on the sponge and soften out the edges like that. So that's much better. Alrighty. We're going to go ahead, cure this for 60 seconds. Mm, we can cure it for 30. Let's do that. Next I'm going in with some gold little flat back beads. As you can see, I have some right here on the pinky that I've already completed. And again, I mimicked the, the same pattern on the pointer that I did on the ring finger. And I also did the same thing on the thumb. And as you'll see, I just have like that little red polish giving it that aura effect on the center of the three fingers here. <laughs> on these three fingers, all three of these just have that aura effect. So let's go ahead and start to apply the beads. To apply them, I'm using the McCart rhinestone glue. You guys know that is my go-to. And I'm just using my little rhinestone picker pencil situation. And yep, let's go ahead and get right to this. So for this one, I think I'm gonna do one here, one here and one here at the top. And then, I don't know if I wanna apply them on every nail or just the ones with that aura effect. I have not fully decided yet. You 
You guys can probably hear my dog snoring. He snores as if he has a job. Maybe I'll do one more on the middle, just because I kind of feel as I want to put it right at the tip. Let's see how this looks. I think I like it with the four. I think I'm gonna leave it with the four on there. I think that's good. And then, let me just go ahead and flash cure this really quick. For the thumb, I kinda wanna do something big on the thumb, I'm not sure. Okay, you guys, so for the thumb, I'm thinking a very chunky, like rhinestone or charm, so. I've been going back and forth, and I have to put a generous amount on here. I think I'm gonna use one of my like spiders that I have, and it has like a pearl on it. I bought these and like still have not used them at all. I have them in silver and in gold. Do you guys see that? It's so cute. And I feel like I need to just finally use it. I wasn't even gonna do it. I'm like, uh, is that too much? But I have all of this stuff and I need to just literally use the things that I have purchased. So we're going to go ahead and just place the spider where I want it, like that. And flash cure it in place so that we can seal around it with it's in the center. Slap it up a little bit more. And just flash cure it. And we're going to seal around it with more of the rhinestone glue just to make sure we don't have any gaps and that way the legs aren't catching onto our hair or clothing because that can definitely happen a lot. So I'm just going to get more of the rhinestone glue on a little brush and we're going to scoop that under the edges. And this is the best thing to do if you have issues with your just catching on to your clothing and hair, I definitely recommend sealing it so that that doesn't happen. Just to try to avoid it as much as possible. And this is high, so you may have to put quite a bit of rhinestone glue in there and then cure again and then just fill in wherever wherever else you may have more gaps just to seal it in as much as possible no it's not halloween yet but i'm like kind of already getting into the spirit of it especially with beetlejuice coming out so yeah it's like it just turned september but <laughs> I think I'm ready. I'm definitely ready for these fall looks. So we're already getting into like our dark maroons and deep colors and stuff. So, and now that we have our nail design exactly where we want it to be, I've already top coated the thumb. We're just going to go in with the top coat here and apply that to all of the nails. And we're also making sure to put this over the charms that we have on the nails as well. 
all of the gold beads. Okay, you guys and this is going to be the final look if you guys enjoyed today's video be sure to give it a like as well as subscribe and don't forget to pick up your ultra human air ring if you guys would like and i'll see you on the next one ciao